So let's talk about destructuring. Destructuring assignment. New feature in ES6. Let's see here. So say I have an object. G breakfast today, Peter? Breakfast, bagel, cool. What's for lunch, Leon? Cheeseburger. Eh, what's for dinner tonight, Ryan? PBJ. Right on. All right. So I've got, I've got this object here but I really wish I had lunch as a separate variable. In ES6, you can do something like this. Const lunch equals bracket meals. Right? So is it the other way around? It's the other way around. Sorry. And I've just extracted that item out of the object. This may not seem super useful so far, but it's pretty doggone useful. Um, I could also say, of course, I could put more than one of them in there and it would work too. So I could say const breakfast, comma dinner equals meals. And it'll break it out into two new variables. One place that's kind of handy is when passing props into components. So what I could do instead of saying props there is destructure them with curly braces like that. And it'll set a local variable called user. I don't have to say props.user, I can just say user. Nice side effect of that is now there's kind of some documentation in there. I know from looking at this that the prop that I need to pass in is user. So we already uh, avatar line nine. So there we go, props.style. So I can just put comma style, and it'll get both of them out of props. And it still works. So if there's something out of props that you're going to use over and over and over, it's kind of really handy to do this. So in user info, I can do the same thing. I think the only prop there is also user. So every place I said props.user, I'm just going to say user. It's only two places, but there we go. We still have our style. It worked. So I'm going to start doing this a lot. So that is destructuring assignment from ES6. And it's nice for destructuring props that are passed in to uh, stateless functional components. It does not remove it from the object. But um, if you're doing it in the argument list there, you don't have that object anymore. Now what you can do is get everything that you didn't extract out by doing something like uh, that, strangely enough, will take everything other than user and put it in an object so you still have it. So you can extract only some of them out while still leaving yourself the rest if you want. Now we're getting a lot of complaints about some links. We'll get to those eventually. It's just a warning. So questions about that? <laughs>